Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Getting suspended is a painful part of life, especially if you live your life like an aggressive hockey goalie who acts like a douche because he doesn't serve his own penalties. If you're going to violently attack the person screening you and humiliate him in front of his Animal Planet girlfriend, you might reasonably expect something more than a two-minute penalty. If you're going to walk around and act like a tough guy, you need to accept the consequences. I can't imagine anything worse than being suspended. You'll sit out for three or four games while the backup goalie gets all your fucking stage time. I trust him like I trust a dude with a lined up beard and slick back hair to take my girlfriend to the mall. If the penalty box is prison, then a suspension is solitary confinement. There is no worse punishment than just being isolated from everything. It's very painful to sit by yourself alone with your thoughts. What if the backup is having a stellar performance? What if he's winning over your coach? What if they're going out to dinner afterwards? And what if he cheats on you? This situation is too nightmarish not to be addressed. So in this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to show you the path to getting the most out of your time off and how to return to the ice a smarter criminal. This is Goalie Smarts episode 57, how to survive a suspension. Step one, try to get a reduced sentence. Once you commit your crime, it's in the past and there's nothing you can do. However, there is a slight chance you might be able to sweet talk your way into a lighter punishment. You see, the purpose of a punishment is to change the behavior of the person who commits the offense. I personally can't think of a better way to prove that you've learned your lesson by aggressively arguing for a lighter punishment because it personally inconveniences you. There are tons of desperate and sketchy attorneys willing to take any case with a mild chance of success. The type of guys who advertise their law firm at a laundromat and try to rope in crackheads who drink battery acid and act surprised when their intestines turn into beef stew. And you know what? It's all Duracell's fault. Well, Mr. DeClaire, I think you have a very interesting case. How long is your suspension for? Three games, dude. It's fucking bullshit, honestly. I completely agree. Okay, now how long do you think it should be? I shouldn't even have gotten one. I didn't do anything. Of course, of course. What do they accuse you of doing? Allegedly, I attacked their left winger because I couldn't see. He was in front of me. And after I tackled him, I may have tried to claw his eyeball, but he was asking for it. Yeah. Okay. What did the refs do about it? Uh, well, they tried to throw me out. And I was going to comply, but the guy was just being a dick. So I may have called him a heretic and a traitor and maybe a sister fucker, but these are all allegations and they have no evidence against me. You know what? That's an excellent point. They have no proof. Mm -hmm. First things first, let's talk about payment, okay? This is gonna take a lot of work. I'm gonna have to do a lot of reading up about the rules, um, prior suspensions that might be similar to yours. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure about the sister fucking. Okay. Um, yeah. And other things that you may or may not have said to the referee, so we'll line that all up. Okay. And um, I think I'd like to have you as a client. So, how much do you charge? For most cases, uh, a lot, okay? okay. Um, but I do think we can get you off. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to work with you. I think we can do $700 an hour. Huh, okay. Um, it's a little steep for my budget, to be honest. Um, do you think that we could settle and maybe have them pay your legal fees? Absolutely. Oh, okay. I'm in then. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. I'll have my secretary invoice you, but that's yeah. just a formality. Okay. I'm really good at getting people off. I usually get a lot of people off. I can imagine. Okay. Excellent. So, all right. I'm very excited. Sounds about good. You. All right. Thank you, Mr. Declare. Yeah. Have a good one. We're gonna get this. We're gonna regret it. Yep. <laughs> Step two: Be a spectator. Just because you can't be on the ice doesn't mean you still can't incite violence. They might be able to stop you from protecting your crease, but they can't stop you from being a public nuisance. Assist your teammates in the chirp war by yelling inflammatory comments from the stands. Part of being a teammate means standing by them no matter what. Chirping is a part of the battle and your teammates shouldn't have to fight it without you. Since you're gonna be sitting in the stands away from the action, your chirps are going to have to pack a really hard punch. Find some really obscure and personal information about members of the opposing team and regurgitate it back in their face. Message your friends, infiltrate their Facebook, go for the throat, and don't hold anything back. This is for the team. Hey, 38, I heard your grandma died. I saw your post on Facebook. What, you love your grandma, you fucking pussy? 
Oh my God. Yeah, I, I don't think your Facebook posts help with our heart disease. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. All right, buddy, time to go. No, I'm good, man. This is my team. I'm trying to help them out. All right, they're losing six to zero. Are you gonna get out of here or are the cops gonna help me out? Dude, don't call the cops. I have warrants. I'll go. All right, bro. All right, I'll go, I'll go. Step three, deal with your lawyer. Now that your suspension is over and you served all three games and all your lawyer did was rack up a $26,000 invoice, it is time to deal with yet another headache. Maybe it was an idea to reach out to some Goomba with a law degree to take on USA Hockey, but now is not the time to think rationally. You're already too deep into this. Hey dude, so I served the whole suspension. I'm not paying your invoice. Oh really? I'm sorry to hear that. Unfortunately, our policy states that the account gets charged regardless of the outcome of the case. Okay, I understand that, sir, okay? But I did not consent to any of this. I mean, you did sign the contract and you did leave your debit card here, so I kind of consider that consent. Are you saying I'm full of shit? No, I'm, sir, I'm not saying that. Uh, what's your PIN number? 8008? Oh shit, forget I said that. Too late. Thank you for watching the 57th episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This idea was suggested by Boba Fett. If you have an idea for the next episode, comment it below. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I'm out. Betcha!